So I <clears throat> stole the chart on the right hand side from uh, Nitin Gower's new book. Um, and the way I view this slide is to say, well, look, you know, if we look backwards um, at what people have been doing with blockchain, um, you know, we've gone through an experimental phase where, where people have been using their innovation budget. Um, and the amount of value that um, you can get from playing with, um, with networks uh, on, on a blockchain is pretty limited if you keep this internal and uh, experimentation. Um, to really get um, to that first tranche of value, what you need to be doing is removing friction in B2B processes. So you really need to move into that second bubble where what you're doing is you're using blockchain to um, smooth over the cracks in the as-is process. So that's getting rid of all of that duplicated work as we need to reconcile from one system to another. It's getting rid of all of that disputes um, that uh, typically go with those reconciliations. It's about providing increased provenance and visibility so that you can make the world as we know it far more efficient and far more effective. However, the third bubble, I think, is the one which gets me really interested, which is to say, well, what happens next? And it's important to understand that what we're really doing with a blockchain is for the first time, we are creating trusted data at the level of a market. Um, and then the question is, well, what are you going to do with all of this wonderful new data? Um, and of course, the opportunity here is to create new markets and to change the way that existing markets um, actually operate. Um, you know, for example, if we can bring folks into our ecosystem with data that, that traditionally would not have been there, what new value propositions can you create? What new type of things can we, um, can we do? Um, and what's particularly important for um, your clients to think about is you want to be in the driving seat now of this new networked economy. You don't want to be um, being driven by, by, by somebody else's ecosystem. So it's worth your while to um, contribute maybe to setting up a consortium to create an industry utility, which may well benefit your competitors um, in terms of the benefits of using the service as much as yourself. But what you're doing is you're giving yourself a driving seat in governing how this marketplace is going to evolve and how it's going to grow. Um, and you're looking to suck more and more folks into this network and more and more data into this network to grow the value. So the network um, grows and grows and grows um, and the amount of data that you can have um, monetized um, increases.